नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग प्रैक्टिस कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो विल अप्लाई अनसाम्बल टेक्निक टू रेगुलेशन प्रॉब्लम इन कैलिफोर्निया हाउसिंग डेटा सेट वी हैव ऑलरेडी अप्लाइड डिफरेंट रेगुलेशन ऑन कैलिफोर्निया हाउसिंग डेटा सेट इन दिस कोर्स इन दिस स्कूल एप विल मेक यूज ऑफ डिसीजन ट्री रिग्रेसर बैगिंग रिग्रेसर एंड रैंडम फॉरेस्ट रिग्रेसर will observe performance improvement when we use random forest over decision tree and bagging and bagging also uses decision tree regressor internally we begin by importing necessary libraries and packages we import pandas and numpy for fetching california housing data set we import fetch underscore california underscore housing from scalon dot data sets module We import bagging regressor, random forest regressor, and decision tree regressors. Then we use mean absolute error as a metric. And for model selection, we are going to use cross validate, train test split, randomizer CV, and shuffle split. We initialize a random seed to three zero six, and we are going to use shuffle split as cross validation with ten splits, and Twenty percent example set aside as test examples. Let us download the data and split it into training and test set. So we downloaded the data with fetch California housing. We multiplied label by label by hundred so that we get values in thousands of dollars. Then we perform training and test split, and we also perform training and dev split. In order to train different regressors, we define a train regressor function that performs training of the regressor with cross validation. It takes estimator as an argument along with training feature matrix, training label vector, the cross validation, the scoring which is negative mean absolute error, and we set return train score and return estimator both these flags to true. then we get the training error by multiplying the train score by minus 1 and test error by multiplying test score by minus 1 remember the score here is negative mean absolute error and hence we multiply it by minus 1 then we print the error on training and test sets we are going to train three regressors decision tree regressor bagging regressor and random forest regressor after defining this function this is quite a straightforward task we call the function train regressor by passing the appropriate estimator which is decision tree regressor here the the training feature matrix and training label vector along with the cross validation scheme and the name of the regressor so that we can print it appropriately in the output so you can see here that the decision tree regressor makes zero error on the training set whereas it makes error of 47.18k on the test set with standard deviation of 1.33k so you can see that this is an example of overfitted model because it obtains a zero error on the training but quite high error on the test set and this precise problem of overfitting is solved with bagging and random forest then we train bagging regressor and when we train the bagging regressor model makes error of 14.41 on the training set but the error on the test set is is reduced from 47.18 to 35.35 and when we apply random forest regressor the errors get reduced both on the training set as well as on the test set now on the on the training set we have error of 12.609 whereas on the test set we have error of 33.17 so you can see that as we use bagging regressor and random forest regressor the error has gone down on the test set with marginal increase in the training error and this is the exact point that we were talking in the theory class that bagging helps us to reduce the variance or overfitting in the base classifiers we demonstrate how to perform parameter search for random forest regressor 
There are two configurable parameters, number of estimators and maximum number of leaf nodes. We define a parameter distribution for number of estimators with number of estimators to be 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 50, 100, 200 and 500. We set the maximum number of leaf nodes to 2, 5, 10, 20, 50, and 100. We perform randomized search CV with this parameter distribution and random forest regressor estimator. We use negative mean absolute error as a scoring function and we perform 10 iterations of randomized search CV. After performing the randomized search CV, we have displayed the mean test error and the standard deviation in the test error for different parameter configurations. And we have shown this parameter configuration in the ascending order of the test error. So the best performance was obtained with number of estimators equal to 500 and maximum number of leaf nodes equal to 100. The maximum test error was 72.97 and was obtained for number of estimators equal to 5 and maximum number of leaf nodes equal to 2. Next, we calculate the error on the test set. So on an average, a random forest regressor makes an error of 40.30k on the test set and this random forest regressor is obtained to randomize search CV. So in this video, we studied how to apply bagging techniques for regression problem. Specifically, we applied decision tree, bagging regressor and random forest regressor on California housing dataset. We use decision tree regressor to understand what is a baseline regressor on the dataset and then use bagging and random forest regressor to show that we are able to reduce the overfitting effect in the decision tree regressor using the bagging technique. We also demonstrated how to perform randomized search for the best set of parameters for random forest regressor.